Good afternoon, Rosie fans. We've been working on the trailer for a couple of weeks now, so we thought we'd give everyone a good and proper walkthrough. Um, so far, we've spent about $600 in material. And the unfortunate part of that is that you really can't see it because it's all the guts. So we had to completely replace the front. So we took off all the aluminum, reframed it, put in uh, new insulation, put the window back, buttoned it back up. So that's the work that's been done here so far. Then when you come around to the side over here, we did the exact same thing. We had to take off all the siding, replace the insulation, and that's Ty up there, uh, finishing up the band that will go the strip that goes right here so we don't get future water damage. So we're working on that right now. Yes, a paint job will be in our future here. Here's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Okay, this is the entrance. So no work has been done yet on the inside, except for um, a little bit in the bathroom. We've just torn stuff out. So I just wanted to give a good look on the inside before we start working on it, because that will be where, that's where the wow factor happens. That's when we start spending money, um, not as much money, but you have a dramatic difference. So first of all, the flooring, I actually really like it, even though it's completely original from the 70s. I think once we clean it up, It'll be fun Look in here. And then because I plan on painting everything you see that is a wood color in here, I plan to paint it like a creamy white. Um, I think the floors that are kind of dark now will sort of stand out in a kind of a funky way. But I like it. It'll be fun having that. See the floor? It's in really good condition. It just needs a good cleaning. Okay. So it's going back to the kitchen. This is the original range. It works. It's actually in fantastic condition. So all I have to do is clean it. That's kind of the name of the game around here is cleaning. Um, this is the countertop. Decent countertop. Brown. Again, I think painting the entire trailer like a creamy white, um, including the cabinets down here, will actually make this chocolate brown countertop kind of stand out and look maybe a little bit more modern. So the beautiful, original, gorgeous wallpaper we have here. Isn't it so cute? Uh, no, that's going. I'm going to cover it up with the crosshatch tin, probably again in a dark brown color, to, so it'll kind of match the countertops and just sort of go right up here. And it's not a lot of space right there, so I think the tin will be a really nice impact. We'll keep the hood. We'll just brighten it up a bit. How about these controls? Whoop. That doesn't say 1979. I don't know what does. Okay. Come back down here. Whoop. And we're coming over here. So this is the back area. So what this used to be is a couch that converted to a double bed. I mean, we don't really need the couch, so it's just going to we're going to just kind of frame it out to be able to have a double bed. So it's like 75 inches across, and then like 54 inches this way, which is actually. A ton of room. It's gonna be a nice big bed. I have a memory foam mattress coming in, so it'll be really cool. So that's this area. And that's the water tank, really big water tank. So we'll be able to just lift up the bed and have access to that. Come back here, come back up. And if you can see up there. So this is a fold down loft area that can be converted um, into more beds. We don't really need that. So we'll just have that be storage space. So that's insulation left over from whenever, but they'll just be storage space. Um, we have some work to do on the ceiling. So just come up here. So there, there was definitely water damage on the roof. So that's the next project. 
I told Ryan that the only thing he needed to have ready for the Relay for Life just to have a place for me to sleep and then to have our bathroom. Well, actually, just have the toilet ready. So that's working now. We all have. We had all the electrical done, and he's gone through and done the plumbing. He wired an outdoor shower because um, the shower that's inside just it's not on high on the priority but we'll have an outdoor shower so when we go camping that's really all you need just to kind of rinse off so coming around here we have more storage again we'll just paint that and then coming down here you can't really see but that's all new wood all these panels have been replaced this was totally i don't know if you saw in the photos but this was all just wood rot and now we have some new panels coming through here so they don't match but they'll get painted again uh this is the dinette Ooh, total 80s fabric so much fun this will stay a dinette will recover the um the cushions and that'll be fun i know that's all of our work stuff this is all the curtain rods but this will stay. This bed ends up being 72 inches. So it's a big space. So we're going to keep that. Hi, Tyler. Wave. Awesome. Okay. This is our refrigerator. You can't really tell. It's kind of neat. It has the panels so it blends into the wall. But it's actually a really decent sized refrigerator. So we're not going to, we're not going to replace this. Look, I mean, if it's original, it is very clean and of course it's already stocked for Ryan we we're testing it out to see if it's cold you must have turned it off because it's not cold Ryan your ears getting warm okay so we're gonna move into the bathroom okay and it's getting dark, so you can't really see much. But um, we have a beautiful window in the bathroom. This whole back area, and it's hard to tell, is all new. So we completely took off the back. There was a corner sink here. We demolished that, took that out. Um, we're not going to have a sink in the bathroom. We have a sink. We don't. We don't need it. We don't see any reason why we need to have it. Um, we're going to take up this entire area and put in a shower instead. So eventually this will be a shower. And again, our beautiful, original, gorgeous wallpaper is in here. And that will be completely covered up. I mean, look at this thing that's in there now. Let's go down. There we go. You can see the shower that's in there now. It's not very appealing. And I don't understand why you just have like this shower head thing right? It's like a pull off shower. And then you just have regular wallpaper. I mean, this is how it was like, there was no backing to the shower and you know, you wonder why there's water damage. So there is, we still have to take off this wall on the outside. We've done three walls of the trailer, but this wall is the last wall. It was not nearly as bad as the rest. You can sort of see back in this corner here, some of the original damage that for now has just been patched up. But, um, structurally it's so much better than it was so that is the most important thing is just for it to be structurally sound okay I moved over to the closet area I'm not sure if you could really see this but I just wanted to show right now that this is the closet um, we had to take off the back of the trailer so that goes straight to the closet is the back um, so this will have to be reshelved. So like right now it's open to the bottom to where the outside storage is. Yeah. But that's all fixed now too. So we will get um, new shelves in here and we don't really, again for our personal use, we don't really need a place to hang clothes when we go camping. Um, but we'll still keep it that it can be turned into a closet in the future. All right, we are back outside now. Beautiful. If you saw pictures of this, it's now all buttoned up again. Here's the back. 
That was a platform to the bed that I showed you earlier, the couch bed thing, and that's the other part of it. So that's all been redone. And then coming over here. So this is the side that we haven't worked on yet. So this is the side that we haven't pulled off and redone. We'll need to redo that. We'll have to pull off the siding, check the check all of the um, check the structure, redo the insulation. We went with the styrofoam insulation, which is a little bit more rigid, gives a little bit more structure instead of using you know, the old fluffy stuff. Um, and then, as I mentioned, the roof is going to be the next big project. Um, so when we first bought this trailer, it wasn't exactly Coachella ready. Not that we go to Coachella, but it wasn't even fit to go out there. Now I would say we are exactly at Coachella readiness. I think any hipster would be happy to drag this thing out to Coachella and chill. But uh, when we are done, it will be full on glamp status. So we will have more updates in the future, but I just wanted to kind of give you the what, what it looks like after two weeks of renovation. Uh, like I said, about $600 in materials, and we have absolutely nothing to show for it except for a, a pretty darn solid structure that uh, we know is not going to fall apart on the road. And uh, the next step will be to uh, start trimming it out and making it look pretty, uh, as well as fix some of the other structural issues moving forward. Thanks for watching. Bye.